Okay, okay. A lot of people ask me on Skype, Twitter, and YouTube, what are my favorite Mario games? They didn't specify, they just said Mario, so I could be like, Mario CDI. No, no, that's my, that's not my favorite. Well, I already explained two of my favorite Mario games, which were Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World, both for the Super NES and, uh, for, wait, whoa, both for the, Super Mario World was for the Super NES and, uh, what was the other one for, uh, Game Boy? Yeah, it was for Game Boy. <laughs> Sorry about that. They were both for Game Boy, though. They were both made for Game Boy. But, um, I'm going to explain two more of my favorite Mario games, and I only had to slip it down to four because, you know, four is an even number. Let's go! Alright, here. The first game I'm going to talk about is Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. It was the first game I played. Uh, first RPG Mario game I played, and it... It was a really good Mario game, um, I actually finished it the whole way through, and yeah, it was just, it was a really good game, and uh, it was like, I played it like the first year I had my DS, and it was really good, and I loved it, and now it's one of my favorite Mario RPG games, and one of my favorite Mario games overall now, and that's why I'm putting it on this list of Mario games that are my favorites. So yeah, it's, it is one of my favorite Mario games, and um, just the texture and the color is really cartoony, just like every other uh, Mario RPG games. Uh, Bowser's Inside Story also looks a like, lot uh, like this. Um, what's that other one? I forget what it's called, but um, it has the same art style as this, and you know, I love the Mario RPG art styles. They're really awesome and really good, so that is why Mario and Luigi Partners in Time is on this list. Let's get to the last Mario game here, Super Mario 64. Alright, here is my favorite Mario game of all time, Super Mario 64. Now you guys have may have opinions on this, no matter what it is, this is gonna be my favorite Mario game for the Nintendo 64 and the DS, all like, I mean, this is a great game and they just had to remake it on the DS back in the uh, mid 2000s and they just had to do it because they need they needed to reboot this game and it was really great that they did and you know it's just one of my favorite games because the storyline too is not just your damsel in distress you have to well it is your damsel in distress but you get you have to go find all these stars and you gotta get through all these puzzles and all these things and you meet all these new people and uh, you know what i loved in um the DS version that you could play as, you know, Yoshi, uh, Luigi, and Wario, you could play as those guys too, and that just made the game a whole lot more fun for me when playing it. So, it's just one of my favorite by far, and it could be yours too. And, you know, all the, all the great, all the great art styles, this is my favorite for the N64 just because it, it introduced a whole lot new uh, 3D art styles. Now I, now, I know there were were 3D art styles back then before this game for the N64, but it wasn't until this game was released that they started using these 3D animation techniques that they are using today in this game. We could thank for it. For the most part, we can thank, for, thank this game and, and maybe some of other Nintendo 64 games that came about that changed the generation of graphics, but this game was in the full brunt of its force with the graphics and introduced a whole lot of new 3D graphic effects with the game. So yep, this is my favorite Mario game of all time. Now you guys know, if you have any of your of opinions of your own, please leave it down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more Nintendo Month videos.